Are you ready, Orly? The ceremony starts pretty soon. Yes, I'm ready, but I still don't see why I have to wear my hair like this. Because it looks adorable, that's why. Yeah, adorably stupid. Orlando. That's enough. If you want to be the ring bearer, then you need to start acting like one. Now don't embarrass me. Sorry, Mom. Okay. How are you all doing? Just fine, honey. Dad. Mom said I look adorable. You look fine, buddy. What's the problem? I'm nine years old, Dad. I'm too old for adorable. Okay, then what would you like to be? I want to be Super Pimpin. That's your son, Ray. Hi, Devario. Chloe, I'm glad to see you made it. You look great. Thank you. So when does it start? In a few more minutes. Let's take a seat. I'm so glad you both are here today. And Pop, I'm especially happy that your parents were able to make it. I know it means a lot to Howard. So are we, Jennifer. Mama and Dad don't really get out much anymore, but they would have moved heaven and earth to be here today. Well, let's take our seats, shall we? I think it's about to start. Man that maid of honor is such a babe. Shut up. Daddy, I did it. Good job, sweetheart. You can go sit down with mommy now. My little girl, you look so beautiful. Thank you, Dad. Good afternoon. Before we start, I want to take this opportunity to thank Howard and Allison for selecting me to officiate their wedding ceremony. And for trusting me to not mess everything up. Love is the reason we are all here today. In marriage, you not only say, I love you today, but also, I promise to love you for all our tomorrows. Howard and Allison. In the days ahead, there will be both hard times and good times. Both times of conflict and times of joy. I ask you to remember this advice. Never go to bed angry. Let your love be stronger than your anger. Learn the wisdom of compromise. For it is better to bend than to break. Believe in the best of your beloved rather than the worst. Confide in your partner and ask for help when you need it. Remember that true friendship is the basis for any lasting relationship. Give your spouse the same courtesies and kindness that you bestow on your friends. 
and don't forget to say, I love you, every day. Howard and Allison. I remind you that marriage is a precious gift, a lifelong commitment, and a challenge to love one another more completely every day. Please join hands and look into each other's eyes. Howard. With this understanding, do you take Allison to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, forsaking all others and to be faithful only to her, as long as you both shall live? I do. Allison. With this understanding, do you take Howard to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, forsaking all others, and to be faithful only to him, as long as you both shall live? I do. The ring, an unbroken, never-ending circle, is a symbol of committed, unending love. Howard, as you place this ring on Allison's finger, repeat these words after me. This ring, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my wife from this day forward. This ring, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my wife from this day forward. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Allison. As you place this ring on Howard's finger, repeat these words after me. This ring, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my husband from this day forward. This ring, a gift for you, symbolizes my desire that you be my husband from this day forward. As this ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. As this ring has no end, neither shall. Neither shall my love for you. Howard and Allison. In your journey of life together, remind yourselves often of the love that brought you together. Give the highest priority to your love. When challenges come, remember to focus on what is right between you. In this way, you can ride out the storms. And when the clouds hide the sun in your lives, remember that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is always there. Howard and Allison, you have consented together in holy matrimony, have pledged your vows to each other, and have exchanged rings as tokens of your love and commitment to each other. In accordance with the laws vested in me by the state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Howard, you may kiss your bride. Yeah, all right, Uncle Howard. Whoa, 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 crap. Now that was funny. Dallas. Everything's cool, we're fine. Don't worry. Oh man, I'm never letting him live this one down. I know, right? Well, as we've seen demonstrated just now, even the most carefully planned weddings can have their little mishaps. But the way I see it, it only makes it all the more memorable. And now, without further ado, and hopefully without anyone else falling on their face, I present Mr. and Mrs. Collins.